Sitting silently as they hear their fate. First, defendant Peng Yuhua, guilty of subversion of state power, is sentenced to seven years of imprisonment and is deprived of political rights for two years. Second, defendant Li Mingche, guilty of subversion of state power, is sentenced to five years of imprisonment and deprived of political rights for two years. Taiwanese activist Li Mingche spoke only to acknowledge his future. I accept the judgment and I will not appeal. His Chinese co-worker said nothing. But their supporters in Hong Kong refused to stay quiet. I think he, uh, Li Mingjie, uh, was forced to do that and uh, forced to plead guilty. And it's a warning from the Chinese Communist Party. If you want to, uh, uh, you know, sort of what their words interfere in Chinese internal affairs, supporting human rights, then you will be arrested. That's something Beijing doesn't deny. Anyone in the mainland should abide by the mainland's legal rules and public orders. And anyone who violates the law will be brought to justice. Lee was a volunteer for the Taiwan Association for Human Rights. For a decade, he'd been traveling to and from mainland China until March, when he suddenly disappeared and was then arrested. The charges against him include circulating articles criticizing Beijing's leadership, as well as pushing for a revolution. In China, enough to be put behind bars. Human rights activists in China aren't the only people angry over the sentences handed down this week. Taiwan's presidential office called the verdict unacceptable, saying, we urge the Beijing authorities to release Li and allow him to return to Taiwan soon. We regret that Li's case has seriously damaged cross-strait relations. And this diplomatic dispute looks set to shake an already fragile arrangement. Beijing considers Taiwan to be part of its territory, but Taipei has other ideas. It's been a self-ruling island since 1949, when China's nationalist government fled there after being ousted from the mainland by Mao Zedong's Communist Party. On that island sanctuary, the nationalists rebuilt their military forces toward the day when the China mainland might be liberated. Since then, polls regularly show Taiwanese are generally happy with being independent. The economy has done well, although it's partly dependent on Beijing. But the imprisonment of these two activists has angered many in Taiwan and is being seen as an attempt by Beijing to flex its muscles. If so, will the threat of jail be enough to scare away those critical of its power? Vanessa Keneally, The Newsmakers. Well, joining me now from Washington is Melissa Newcomb. She's a research manager at the Global Taiwan Institute. And in Beijing, Victor Gao, he's the chairman of the International Community of Beijing Private Equity Association. I thank you both for joining us. Melissa, let me begin with you. Five years in prison for Li Mingche for those social media posts. Subversion, is that justice? Hi, um, thank you so much for having me. Um, is it justice? It depends on who you ask. Um, the charges of subversion are very questionable charges to begin with. They're largely catch-all terms that boil down to doing something that the PRC government doesn't agree with. Is it true that he was subverting the state? Um, in the eyes of the PRC government, that's probably true. But what was he doing and where was he doing those things um, are questionable in terms of whether or not they were illegal. Victor Gao, Amnesty International, says his so-called confession is highly dubious and was most likely extracted under extreme duress. Is he a political prisoner, Victor? I don't think so. I think uh, the China State Security Ministry was involved in doing the investigation and the final charges upon which he was convicted with uh, were uh, national security, state security violations. And uh, just now, your reporter also mentioned that Mr. Li was v involved in uh, uh, revolution or overthrowing the Chinese government. And I think the Chinese authorities must have found evidence uh, linking Mr. Li with these uh, revolutionary 
uh, undertakings which the Chinese government probably thought were aimed at overthrowing mm -hmm. the Chinese government. The Chinese government spokesman also alleged that Mr. Li was trying to impose the political values in Taiwan onto mainland China. And uh, uh, I hope Mr. Li will serve much less than five years, and I hope he will be either paroled or released at a shortened sentence very soon, and I hope he will join his family and friends in Taiwan sooner rather than later. Very interesting that they've said he wanted to start a Western color revolution. It's the same words they've recently used in Cambodia against Kem Soha, but that's a different story. Nevertheless, fascinating. Melissa... Uh, Victor Gao is hopeful yes. that the state has enough evidence. Tell me why you're not as hopeful. Well, it's not that I'm not hopeful. It's just that if they have so much evidence, where can we see it? Um, a lot of the allegations made against him are allegedly um, posts that he made while he was in Taiwan. And I'm not sure if they were inciting revolution. I haven't read these posts myself. But most likely, they were simply talking about his past and Taiwan's past with authoritarianism and fighting for democracy. Um, whether or not that is inciting revolution in China, I cannot say. But I doubt that they have the evidence that they are charging him with. Victor Gao, was this less about one man and more about Beijing's policy towards Taiwan and showing Taiwan who's boss? No, I think uh, I read very carefully uh, what was said by the Chinese government spokesperson as well as what's being written about in Western medias. And I think uh, the investigation in China was done by the uh, state security ministry. And normally, they do not disclose all the charges against him, and uh, mainly because they claim that there are national security interests involved. And uh, uh, however, if Mr. Li was just you know, talking about human rights, etc., he most likely will be expelled if the government found enough evidence showing him uh, to take positions which Chinese government would not tolerate. However, putting him uh, behind the bar for five years is based on very serious charges of and conviction of state security violations. And uh, the government didn't elaborate on those charges. It doesn't mean they do not have evidence against Mr. Li. I, let me emphasize again, I hope uh, out of humanitarian consideration as well as for the overall consideration of better relations between mainland and China, Mr. Li will be released sooner rather than having to serve the full sentence. Melissa, what's hope. the message by this sentence What's the message to the couple of million Taiwanese who are currently living in China? Uh, in China, mm -hmm. not in general. Because I think it's a message to Taiwanese people in general, and especially people in Taiwan who focus on human rights Understood. and civil society. The message, um, I'm yeah, sorry? Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the message is, is that um, be careful, we're watching you. That is the message that the sentence um, it gives to people in Taiwan, and it is um, definitely putting a chill over uh, civil society activists' um, uh, activities. Um, and it's definitely making them pause and reconsider how they will speak with their counterparts mm -hmm. in China and their friends in China even, or their families. Many people have cross-strait marriages, cross-strait families. Um, it's definitely putting a chill over cross-strait relations in general. Okay, so, that, so Victor Gao, whatever the facts of the case itself is the consequence of it that what people call the three T's, Tiananmen, Tibet, and Taiwan, that Chinese people generally should steer clear of, does that extend to the Taiwanese people? That if, uh, if you talk about this stuff and uh, you say things that are a little bit spicy and the government doesn't like in Beijing, be careful, you're going to be nabbed and you're going to go to jail. No, I do not uh, personally agree with this assessment. Right now, there are millions of people in Taiwan who now work and live in mainland China. They, generally speaking, have uh, a lot of freedom moving around back and forth, going back to Taiwan, coming back to mainland China. There is a lot of uh, cross-strait marriages, for example, and uh, uh, Chinese investments are going more and more into Taiwan, Chinese tourists 
from mainland visit Taiwan regularly. On any given day, there are hundreds of thousands of people from Taiwan touring all parts of mainland. And I think most of them will have no problem in navigating through all the situations in China. And also don't forget, in recent years, China have put people uh, into prison sentences from Canada, from the United States, from Japan on state security violations. And uh, these countries also have some protests, right. but eventually they calm down. They accept the reality that these nationals from these countries are found guilty on state security charges in China, and they negotiate with the Chinese government for early release, which most, in most cases the Chinese government eventually would agree to. And I hope this will also be the best case scenario for Mr. Li, that is early release from prison and all early parole, and allowing him to go back to join Understood. his friends and family. Understood. in Taiwan at the early time. Melissa, very finally, uh, President Tsai Ing-wen has been criticized by many Taiwanese activists for not speaking up vociferously enough about this case. So Taiwan has criticized the sentencing, but there are some who, who believe that they haven't criticized Beijing enough. Is that fair? Well, I think this just goes to show the beauty of Taiwan's democracy in that its citizens can criticize its president when they don't agree when, with what she is doing. I cannot speak on behalf of the president's office. I will say that I am a, an admirer of her, and I think that they have tried the best that they can to deal with a very difficult situation. Um, take, please consider that if she were to be extremely uh, vocal in the media about this case, I think it would only negatively impact uh, Li Mingzhi. Uh, Beijing might try to punish her by punishing him even more severely. I have no doubts that the Taiwanese government is doing its best to either release him earlier or work with Beijing to uh, bring him back mm -hmm. e without sent, uh, without serving his sentence. But um, I think that if the Taiwanese people are upset with how the government is handling it, they have every right to speak about that. And that is completely fair for them to do so. OK, Melissa Newcomb and Victor Gao, I've got to move on. But I thank you both for joining us here on The Newsmakers.